Smile and learn. Wow, look at this. I typed in a super difficult question and AI gave me the answer in seconds. It's like magic. That's right. AI can do amazing things. But the real magic is inside you. Oh, Smiley, you flatter me. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Artificial intelligence is a super useful tool, but it's our job to use it correctly. Shall we explore it together? Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is a technology that allows machines to do tasks that normally require human intelligence. Like solving complex problems, finding information, and even creating new things. But be careful, it doesn't know everything, and although it may seem like it, it doesn't think like us either. In reality, AI follows the instructions we give it. For example, we can ask it to recognize voices, translate into any language, recommend music, or even help us study or work. And all this in a very short time. Let's see. I'm going to tell the AI a joke. Why was the math book sad? Books are objects. They can't be sad. <laughs> it's a joke. The math book was sad because it had a lot of problems. Tell me the problems and I'll solve them for you. <sighs> wow, we're definitely different. Artificial intelligence seems very intelligent, but it has no emotions, no conscience, and obviously, it doesn't seem to have a sense of humor either. So it needs humans to guide it and use it responsibly. It's very important to review and verify the information AI gives you because it can be incomplete or incorrect. Apply your critical thinking and prior knowledge to question and confirm AI's answers. Can you imagine if I used this image I created with AI for my solar system project without checking it? There are two suns! And look how many planets there are. I would have failed for sure. Check, investigate, and use your judgment. Your brain is still the boss here. To use AI correctly, it's very important to keep these three tips in mind. Use AI as a compass or a vehicle that helps you move forward towards your goal, not as the destination itself. It can save us time, give us ideas, and provide a good starting point but it doesn't have all the answers. In the end, it's our job to think, review, and create with our own judgment. Don't believe everything AI says without verifying it. Check the sources that the AI uses in its answers. There can be serious errors to correct. If it gives you data that says something happened in a certain year, Look for it in other sources like books, reliable websites, or ask an expert to verify it. And above all, don't stop thinking for yourselves. No one and nothing can replace your imagination, emotions, and thoughts. Artificial intelligence is amazing. Team up with it, but remember that you are the captain. Never let AI think for you. I missed again. <laughs> of course, Smiley. That's what happens when you're not sure what your goal is. It's much harder to get it right that way, 
If you take your time and aim, you'll see how much closer you get. Hmm, this reminds me of prompts. Have you ever heard that word before? Let's take a look. A prompt is a question or instruction we give to the artificial intelligence. If we say something clearly and explain it well, the AI will be able to help us better. It's like throwing a dart at a target. The more precise we are, the closer we'll get to the goal. That's why we need to be sure about what we're looking for, so we can write the best possible prompt. Let's look at an example. If I want to learn about seals and I ask the AI something like, tell me about animals, I'll get a huge list of stuff that might not be what I want. But if I'm more specific and say, explain the most important facts about seals in two paragraphs, then I'll get a much clearer and more useful answer. So, the clearer and more specific we are, the better the answer will be. It's like asking the hairdresser for a haircut. If we just say, do something nice, we might end up with a hairstyle that even the bravest person wouldn't choose. If we explain, I want short hair with bangs and easy to comb, then we'll get it just right. Here are some tips that can help us get the most out of artificial intelligence and use good prompts. Be clear and concise with what we're asking and use details to guide the answer in the direction we want. Ask for examples when we want things to be easier to understand. And always check and double check the information before trusting it. That's super important. Using AI well isn't just about asking random things. It's about learning how to ask smart questions. Try using what you've learned next time to talk to it. You'll see the difference. See you next time. Well done, Sparky. Hi, how are you? Do you want to play with me and my friend Sparky? Sparky is a very special robot dog because he uses something called artificial intelligence, also known as AI. Have you ever heard of AI? If not, don't worry. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Artificial intelligence allows machines to do things similar to what humans do, such as having a conversation, solving problems, or even drawing. Let's try this artificial intelligence thing with Sparky. Sparky, fetch the yellow ball. Now bring it back. Sparky has been trained to follow orders. He can also dig holes and shake, just like a normal dog. Best of all, I can teach him new tricks thanks to artificial intelligence. Tomorrow, I'm going to teach him to jump over obstacles. What else do you think he can learn? AI is not just in robots like Sparky. Have you ever used one of those voice assistants that help us look things up on the internet? They also use artificial intelligence to answer our questions. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No rain is forecast for tomorrow. How nice! Tomorrow I can come back to the park to train Sparky. Oh look, my friend Xiao Feng sent me a message. But I don't know Chinese, and I don't know what it says. Luckily, artificial intelligence can help me by translating this message. 
How nice! It looks like Xiao Feng is coming tomorrow to help me train Sparky. They get along very well. AI is like a friend that helps us and learns with us. Isn't that cool? So you see, although nothing can replace the fun of learning together, if we use it correctly, artificial intelligence is a tool that can help us a lot in our daily lives. See you soon, friends! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.